My name is Jill Frerichs. I'm a graduate of the College of Podiatric Medicine and Surgery class of 2001 and I'm currently employed at Capital Orthopedics and Sports Medicine where I am a foot and ankle surgeon. When I first uh, graduated from high school, I thought for sure that I was going to be a pharmacist and uh, spent some time that summer um, shadowing some pharmacists, uh, both in hospital and retail pharmacy. And I quickly realized that that wasn't the profession for me. I started at the University of Iowa for my first undergraduate year and um, happened to become employed with a podiatrist um, in Iowa City uh, and spent some time in the office and um, under his direction uh, <laughs> decided that I really liked working with my hands and really liked the, the um, profession of, of foot and ankle surgery. I did look at most of the Midwestern colleges and it just had, had the right feel um, in Des Moines. I was really attracted uh, to the uh, quality of the professors at the time and uh, the quality of the education. They seemed very hands-on and uh, very involved with the students and their education, as well as having very good outcomes and placement for residency programs. After I completed residency, uh, my husband Darren was still finishing his anesthesia residency and then did a one-year cardiothoracic fellowship. So during that period of time, I became um, part of the residency faculty and then I also worked in a private practice. So I kind of served as a dual role during that period of time. And so that was also a good experience to flip from, from being a resident to training residents because you, it really enriches your experience and, and your skill set. Dr. Frerichs, I just want to tell you how proud I am for you to get Alumna of the Year. I have to note that you're the third one out of our class that's received this honor, so congratulations. Jill and I have known each other now for uh, almost 20 years. Uh, from the first day we were students, did our rotations together as uh, med students and some as residents too. And the thing I really appreciate about Jill is she pushes herself. She pushed me to be better as a student, and I think now, fast forward 20 years, and we still see that. She pushes for the best for her patients. I can't think of anybody more deserving than Jill for this award and this honor. Congratulations, Jill, and um, continue to do good things. We had um, our first child um, after I had graduated from residency and were due with our second child and realized that we were a very long way away from both sets of grandparents as well as extended family and were both very close with our families and, and wanted to move back to the Iowa area. And we got a phone call one evening <laughs> from a practice here in Des Moines uh, recruiting my husband. And so it, it was kind of a no-brainer at the time um, that I, I would look to Des Moines University you know, for a position because I was involved in teaching residents. As an assistant professor, I spent 50% of my time um, in the clinic and, and teaching students in clinic while seeing uh, patients. And then the other 50% of my time was dedicated to lecturing and teaching labs and then later uh, research um, also. And so it, it, it was a great experience, um, especially with the, the teaching in the in labs. I, everything I like to do is hands-on and, and with patient care. I first met Dr. Ferricks as a student when she was an assistant professor at the university and then rotated with her once she ventured out into the private sector. Dr. Ferricks is an individual who spends a great deal of time with her patients so that they feel comfortable, all questions are answered, and her attention to detail is one of her best assets. Over the past two years, I've greatly enjoyed working with Dr. Ferricks as she's become a mentor for me in how she balances her personal and professional life. Jill, on behalf of all your previous students, thank you for your commitment to the advancement of our profession and the education of your colleagues. Congratulations on the very well-deserved honor of being named Alumna of the Year. When somebody comes in with a foot or ankle issue, it's usually very debilitating um, to their lifestyle. Um, not only that, but when your feet hurt, as they say, your whole body hurts. And so it affects how you work, it affects your personal life and, and anything recreational that you want to do. And so that's one of the most rewarding parts about foot and ankle surgery is that once you fix that condition and you see that improvement in the patient, everybody leaves and are, are all smiles when they leave. And, and you really know that you've improved somebody's quality of life. I want to thank Des Moines University and the Alumni Board for nominating me for the Alumni of the Year. I feel very humbled and appreciative for this uh, honor. <laughs>